China's growing market for NFTs, Metaverse, could foster new money laundering schemes, Central Bank O. An official at China's Central Bank cautions against the country's rapidly growing interest in non-fungible token-related activities, warning that these could easily become money laundering tools. Virtual assets are decentralized, anonymous and without borders have been widely used in illegal transactions such as blackmail, drug trafficking, gambling, money laundering, financing for terrorism, tax evasion and cross-border transfer of funds, said Go Wenjun, director of the Anti-Money Laundering Monitoring and Analysis Center in the at a financial forum held in Shanghai last week. More than 50 jurisdictions across mainland China, according to Go, plan or have already moved to establish a regulatory framework for these virtual assets, which includes setting up a licensing system that covers the owners and operators of these digital resources. Because these are authenticated via a decentralized blockchain, NFTs can be owned much like physical items, a property which makes these digital items valuable for trading as collectibles or memorabilia. William Ding Lei, founder and chief executive of video gaming giant NetEase, recently said his company is poised to become the 